so in the previous session we have discussed what is a multiplexer and how to design a two cross one multiplexer and four cross one multiplexer we have discussed block level design truth table logic equations and circuit level design also in this particular session we will see how to design a four cross one multiplexer by the help of two cross one multiplexer so designing of four cross one multiplexer using two cross one multiplexer so let us understand the design steps so let us draw the block diagram of four cross one multiplexer over here so for a four cross one multiplexer we will be having four number of inputs and two number of selection lines we have one number of output let the output is y inputs are i0 i1 i2 and i3 and let the selection lines are s0 s1 so this is the block diagram of 4 cross 1 multiplexer now let us first identify how many number of 2 cross 1 multiplexer will be required for the designing of 4 cross 1 multiplexer so what we will do so the number of inputs for the required design is 4 and the number of inputs for the provided multiplexer is 2 so what I'll do, I'll divide 4 by 2 and the result is 2. So we will be having 2 number of 2 cross 1 multiplexer in the first stage. And now 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So we will be having 1 number of 2 cross 1 multiplexer in the second stage. So let us see how to design this. So let this is my first stage and let this is my second stage. In the first stage, we will be having 2 number of 2 cross 1 multiplexer. And in the second stage, we will be having one number of 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Let this is my first 2 cross 1 multiplexer. And this is my second 2 cross 1 multiplexer. In the second stage, this is my one number of 2 cross 1 multiplexer. And let the output of this my final multiplexer is y. And the output of this multiplexer is y1. Output of this multiplexer is y2. Now we will connect y1 to the input of second stage multiplexer and y2 to the input of second stage multiplexer. Now let the inputs of first multiplexer are i0 and i1 and the inputs of second multiplexer are i2 and i3. So this is my first 2 cross 1 multiplexer second 2 cross 1 multiplexer and this is my third 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now let us analyze the requirements one by one. My first requirement for a 4 cross 1 multiplexer is 4 number of inputs. So we have 4 number of inputs i0, i1, i2 and i3. So first requirement is achieved. Second thing is now for any multiplexer the number of output must always be equal to 1. So we have one number of output in this 4 cross 1 multiplexer and here also we have one number of output. Now the next thing is how to choose a selection line. So we will be having one number of selection line over here. We will be having one number of selection line over here and we will be having one number of selection line over here. So as you can see for a 4 cross 1 multiplexer we have only two number of selection line S0 and S1. Now we will set these two selection lines in this multiplexer. Now let us see how to wisely assign this selection line to this design. For that we will first draw the truth table. So my truth table will be having two number of selection line S0 and S1. And this is my output. Now when the selection line is S0 complement, S1 complement, I1 input can be seen at the output. When it is S0 complement S1, I1 can be seen when it is S0 S1 complement, I2 input can be seen at the output and when it is S0 S1, I3 can be seen at the output. So let us divide this truth table into two parts, one for I0 and I1 and second for I2 and I3. Because my first multiplexer have inputs I0 and I1 and the second multiplexer have input I2 and I3. Now when the selection line S0 
is low as you can see over here my first multiplexer will be activated and y0 input can be seen at the output and when the selection line s0 is high the second multiplexer will be activated so what i'll do i'll assign the selection line as s0 so when s0 is low then first multiplexer will be activated and when s0 is high the second multiplexer will be activated now in the next stage you can see here when s1 selection line is low then i0 input can be seen at the output and i2 input can be seen at the output so what i'll do i'll short these two selection lines and assign it as s1 now let us analyze it now when s1 is low i0 can be seen at the output that means the first multiplexer will be activated because s0 is already low when it is high then i1 can be seen at the output in this stage in this situation also the first multiplexer is activated so i1 can be seen at the output now when s1 is low but s0 is high i2 input can be seen at the output in this moment my second multiplexer is activated so i2 can be seen at the output and when s1 is high and s0 is also high i3 can be seen at the output because second multiplexer is activated so i3 can be seen at the output so in this way we can design a 4 cross 1 multiplexer by the help of 2 cross 1 multiplexer only so in the next lecture we will see how to design a 8 cross 1 multiplexer by the help of 2 cross 1 multiplexer only thank you